What's good YouTube? You're now tuning in live with Market Gaming, coming at you guys with another episode of Z Fighters. And on the last episode, I said hello to you guys again, and I also said goodbye, but here I am back again with another video so soon, because work was very slow today, and they were like, you know, no point in having all you people here today, so I'm going to go ahead and send some of you home, so you, 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 and you, Mark. You get to go home at 11.30. I was like, that's fine, mommy. I was like, <clears throat> I get to go home and make YouTube videos, so that's cool, too. So, yeah, this episode, you know, I'm just going to be covering the post-Easter events. I wish I could have covered the Easter events. Because I got some cool stuff, you know, from the scratch. You know, I got an energy shield. I got an orange attack card. But, yeah, on to this event, these events proper grammar so yeah, as you can see the tournament is back we had a tournament about two weeks ago and it was very buggy you know it didn't even show the results after the first day so hopefully they fixed it and you know we can actually duke it out because last time the tournament worked I was able to get like top 16 which was a good accomplishment for me but I ended up facing the number one person in our server, and I lost, so my team is better this time around. I think I have a little bit more knowledge about this thing, and yeah, so let's just go through these events. Logging every day, lucky spin, and yeah, I think I'll just show you the reading. So yeah, here's my team. I'm pretty sure it's the same exact one as the last video, so I got these gamuts. You know, I'm saving them up for the perfect lineup of events, you know. I'm waiting for, you know, I'll just tell you right now. So two of them are actually happening right now. So one, I am waiting for the credit mall, but it has to be combined with something else. And that something else is the call altar. Which, you know, is finished right now, as you can see. Limited time event will expire soon. Um, I want it to be the call altar because for those who know, if you keep calling, eventually it'll say something like, oh, Master Roshi wants to give you a gift if you call once more. So then they'll give you the option to call once or call ten times. And they'll be like, oh yeah, and he's going to give you a big spirit capsule. So then of course you want to do the times ten because that's like a thousand, you know, spirit energy capsules worth of him so I want that to happen so that's cool you know so I once I spend all my gamuts I'll have all these credits go to the credit mall get whatever I want maybe even more big spirit capsules so I can have Slayer on my squad everything you know actually they even changed up these credits because or these items because all this dark gear was not in here so yes, yeah, shout out to sh shout out to sell. I almost said sell out to shell, which would have been weird. Then they have all this gold and stuff and a spirit bomb. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, I want the credit mall. I want that. I want an accumulative spend. Accumulative, accumulative. There you go. Sorry, because I'll probably be spending like ten thousand gamuts, and you know. I could have a lot of things, so maybe twenty thousand. I'll get a bunch of training potions. I'll get whatever hero they're giving out, you know, things like that. And then I also want the daily spend because you can get cool stuff like more spirit capsules, sand glass, and the miracle capsules, which it gives you more, you know, souls from the Zeno transform, which I will show you guys all that too. So yeah, I want the cumulative spend, the daily spend, the limited time call altar, and the credit mall. I mean, that's a lot to ask, but I'm sa I'm saving up for this purpose. You know, I want to be prepared. And yeah, but speaking of events right now, you already saw the credit mall. We have the treasure bowl back in full force. Get this for Ice Shenron, I believe. Your um, Cell Perfect Form, Piccolo. Kabito, you know what I'm saying? Or Vegito, they rhyme. You get this for the homeboy Super Saiyan 2 Trunks. Get this for Vegeta, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Get this for um, Gohan, 
Super Saiyan Gohan, you know, things like that. Blue Cuffs, shout out to the Goku line, powerful. Yellow Gi, just things like that. And, you know, it's pretty cool that you can swap shards for these hero cards. Because, you know, if people really wanted to, they can just max out their Vegetas like that. Or, you know, get a hero they've been waiting for, like Frieza or Goku from Yardrat. I mean, whew. And they also have these skills, you know, Revenge Blast. Shout out to um, whoever uses this. I think it's Baby. But yeah, he's a beast. So that's that event. You have the daily purchase whenever you top up. You know, whoever, whenever you reach a certain point, you can claim some of it. X Souls, Power Chips, Get Getty Chips, and let me guess, Lieutenant Blue? Minister Shan, yeah. You have these gold pots, you know, you can claim three every day. As you can see, I'm stockpiling them. Nothing really appeals to me, honestly. Um, boom, you have these souls, spirits, chips and stuff. Stuff like that, you know. And then you can swap them for these. You know, this is also cool that Vegeta souls only cost 20 for 5. You know, so say I had 400 points, you know, I can get it about 20 times. 20 times 5, that's like 100, if I can do my math correctly, which I should, because I'm a stats major. But yeah, yeah, that's like boosting him three times. But I'm sure there are more effective ways of getting Vegeta Souls. And yeah, so there's the gold pots, just saving for these days. Gold spin, let's spin. Ah, oh, nothing. So yeah, you can get 8,888, but probably not. And then the turtle shoot event, which I haven't really done recently because all I do is a free one. So let's shoot right now. Give me a Kaioken times 10, please. Trunks, I'll take that. I actually did get a Kaioken times 10 before. And, you know, that was whew, pretty exciting, especially for the free ones. And I think that's all we have for those events. Yeah, just to show you the Kaioken times 10, it was so... Cool that I got it, bada boom. You know, of course I'm aiming for that Kaioken times 20. And eventually the Kaioken times 100. But yeah, those are the events on the events tab. Let's go to trial and let's go check out this Xeno thingy. Transform change. So as you can see, I have Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Bardock, and Super Saiyan 2 Trunks. What it is, is every 12 hours you get three of their souls. You can use the Miracle Capsule to double the souls, so you can get six of each. And you can also use the Sand Glass to decrease the hours by two, up to six hours, I believe. I, the way you do that is click on the Sand Glass. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to use one up. But yeah, that's how you do it. I believe the Limited Time Q, you know, costs 200. It gives you an X soul. It says right there, after unlocking the slots of Limited Time Q, you'll get Chaos Demon when inserting heroes into it. Pretty sure that's a, um, you know, X-Soul. So yeah, that's what I've read. Don't quote me on that. And of course I can open these slots too, but you know, I told you I'm waiting for the time to use all my gems. I've been saving nothing but just a 20 a day, sometimes during the um, Beerus got a destruction trials, you know, during the weekend, so I get the master points. And, you know, whenever there's a group purchase that spend that quick 100, boom, get it back the next day. Just things like that, simple stuff, you know. But yeah, that's that. You know, this one costs 200, the next one after that is 300, and the last one after that is 400. It just says 200 right now because it's for the next slot, but it'll eventually cost about 1100 to unlock them all. Because I think you get the first one for free. It's been a while. I don't, I don't remember quite the numbers. But yeah. And last we have this tournament. You know here are the rules. It starts in like 6 hours. Tournament. Heroes will fight without gear, skill, and cards. But get stats remaining from the Ginyu Force and Gravity. So if you have Slayer like I do. It'll be on there I think. I mean... I don't know if you'll get Slayer, but you'll get the stats for sure. You'll get the Ginyu Force stats as well. And the thing that's a little, um, a little weak, not weak, but it's a little sad <laughs> that um, 
you don't get to use the skills. So it says right there that you will fight without skill. I believe the skill the hero comes with is still there, but the added skills, like you know how people will add like Kaioken times three or energy shields and stuff like that, I don't think they will be included. So heroes like Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Bardock probably won't have an attack. So as you can see, he only has Saiyan's Rage. Are these my base stats? Because these are pretty good if you ask me. Maybe these are my base stats. So this is what they'll go into looking like. You know, this is my Bardock with Saiyan's Rage. I, I'm pretty sure because his boosts. Yeah, you know, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know how this tournament works, but pretty sure that his only skill is Saiyan's Rage. So is Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta's. So yeah, they're, they're going to just fight it out. And yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to get everyone 125, almost there. And I hope that I can place higher than I did last time. Because who doesn't want to get free stuff? Like last time you can get Vegito Souls, Gotenks Super Saiyan 3, Gotenks Ghosts, everything. Like... It's good. I heard if you place in the top, you can easily make your heroes. So, it's a good idea to do that. Maybe I want to aim for Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, but that's a lot <laughs> of, you know, soul. That's 28 souls. I also want Vegito because he's a beast. I think I'm close to Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks Ghost 2 away. And, you know, I should really be doing this Turtle Shoot event. Maybe I'll get Tian Shin Guard and Chaozu Vice Emperor, but, you know, I'll see. Comment down below what you think I should do, really, because, I mean, we have the daily spend, we have the credit mall, and, you know, we'll see, honestly. Ooh, that round. But, yeah, I believe those are all the events besides, you know, <clears throat> the heroes you can get in the journey mode. Top up, you know, that's for all you VIP players. Every one. Oh, no, that's, I showed you this one. Already. I thought it was a different one. But yeah, Hero Souls. You got Frieza, regular Broly. That's cool. Treasure Bowl. And sh shop, Swapping Shards. I almost said Sharding Swaps. And let me just show you those. Bada boom. Here's what they are. Only cool thing in here I really see is this thingy. Green belt, that would be cool to have a 53 universal shards. You can universally use them anywhere, honestly. But yeah, that's all I got to do about this game. <laughs> about this game, about this event. Maybe I'll do a team update on my Marky Games account because that account is the best. No, really, it's not the best. I'm trying to make it good, but it's just going to take some time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And... You know, I enjoy making these videos for you when I can. So don't I'm not I'm not back forever, but I'm also not gone forever. So don't expect a video and if you do happen to come across a video, just enjoy it. And if you didn't enjoy it, let me know what I can improve because I make these videos for you and I make these videos for me. I do it for you all you I do it for you all. You know? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll catch you on the next episode of Z Fighters. Bye.